The family members of fallen Capitol Police Officer Brian Sicknick refused to shake the hands of Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell and soon to be House Speaker Kevin McCarthy, both Republicans of course, during a gold medal ceremony to honor police who responded to the January 6th Capitol attacks. You can see it in this video while they very clearly thank Chuck Schumer, they shake his hand. They walk right past Mitch McConnell even as he extends his hand for a handshake. They do the same to Kevin McCarthy, although he was smart enough to understand that they had no interest in shaking his hand and he did not extend his hand. Now this Makes a lot of sense when you consider the rage that a lot of these family members have been feeling toward the way members of the Republican Party have minimized Donald Trump's role in inspiring those Capitol rioters to storm the Capitol the way they did on January 6th. Police officers have criticized, by the way, Kevin McCarthy's response following the attack, including former DC officer Michael Fanone, who suffered a traumatic brain injury and a heart attack in the riot and secretly recorded a meeting with the House Republican leader. Some House Republicans have downplayed the seriousness of the attack and Kevin McCarthy has personally minimized former President Donald Trump's role Role in stoking the mob. Now, not everyone who attended this gold medal ceremony was kind to the officers, including Michael Fanone. In fact, reporters like Ryan Riley are reporting that members of the Metropolitan Police Department Special Operations Division heckled former officer Michael Fanone at the Congressional Gold Medal Ceremony. They called me a piece of crap and mockingly called me a giant effing hero while clapping. Obviously, they're sarcastic about the, the hero part. And so there was that part of it. But I do wanna just quickly go back to the, the family members of uh, the officer who unfortunately passed away soon after January 6th, uh, and that was Officer uh, Sicknick. Now, Brian Sicknick's brother, who's a lifelong Republican, was asked by reporters why he decided to uh, you know, snub McCarthy and McConnell. And he explains why in this next video, let's watch. They came out right away and condemned what happened on January 6th. And whatever hold that Trump has on them, they've backstepped, they've danced. They won't admit to wrongdoing, not necessarily them themselves, but of Trump, of the rioters. I mean, people like people like Louis Gohmann, who presented a, an American flag that was thrown over the Capitol to a January 6th rioter and told them they were a patriot. It's disgusting. And now it takes away everything my brother's done. It takes away my brother, my, the, the heroism my brother showed. You know, you don't think you don't think they deserved a handshake in this context? No. So that was Ted, Brian Sicknick's brother. Uh, there were other family members who spoke to the press, including Gladys Sicknick, uh, who told Daniela Diaz from CNN uh, why she didn't shake McCarthy and McConnell's hand. She said, they're just two-faced. I'm just tired of them standing there and saying how wonderful the Capitol Police is. And then they turn around and go to go get down to Mar-a-Lago and kiss his ring, meaning Trump's ring, of course, and come back. It's just. It just hurts, she said, Jane. Yeah, so uh, it looked like the off camera, of course, they shake Nancy Pelosi's hand too. And McCarthy, uh, as Anna pointed out, was wise enough to step back as soon as he saw they were not shaking McConnell's hand. McConnell looks super awkward out there, like, please, <laughs> please, I'm begging you, shake my hand. Yeah. Uh, and uh, this doesn't help the Republicans' cause because, as you saw towards the end of the last election cycle, they were emphasizing crime a lot and how much they love the cops. And here, are uh, the families of police, uh, fallen police officers saying we hate Republicans so much we don't even want to shake their hands. So that's a double loss uh, for McConnell and the Republicans. Uh, so, uh, but my main point here is I, I love that they didn't do this. Because, and look at the, I think the reporter means well, but even the framing of that question, like, and he's not speaking alone. That's, that's the main question that any reporter in DC would have asked. Like, aren't they? Aren't you snubbing them? Is aren't they worthy of respect? Aren't they shouldn't like? Isn't it wrong of you not to honor them? Well, no, no. Why? why? No, they're getting honored. They don't have to honor the prick that voted against them over and over and over again. The guy who didn't want to investigate the death of their family member. Why would they want to honor and respect him? You because get what you give. I'm sorry. So wait. So if someone who's considered elite disrespects me, 
I have to return, you know, instead of responding the way I should respond, I need to give them respect. Yeah, I'm that's sorry, what Washington I don't, thinks. I don't care what anyone's status in life is. I don't care if they're a congressional lawmaker, a congressional leadership. I don't care if it's the President of the United States. If family members of mine were harmed as a result of the aiding and abetting of other political figures who have incited violence toward my family members, there ain't a way, there's no way in hell I would show respect to those individuals ever, ever. I love that the family members stood their ground there. And it, look, it was a small thing, right? Refusing to shake Mitch McConnell's hand, Kevin McCarthy's hand. That's not a massive protest, it's nothing crazy, but it speaks volumes and it lets these politicians know, listen, the real world doesn't care about what your elite status is. You show disrespect, you're gonna get disrespect in return. And that's what that was, in my opinion. Of course, but for people in Washington, they remember they have a completely different reality. It's just like Trump world, it's hard to Believe that they think these things, but they do. Well, it's time report, to wake up, wakey, wakey. Yeah, okay. every reporter in Washington, <laughs> thinking that they're the brave fourth estate, etc., assumes it's a mindset that the elite are so important that the powerful should be greatly respected. When in reality, they should be thinking of them as bums. Like they should be writing super critical stories, holding the government accountable, saying, look at the crooks, they take money from these guys and then they do them favors. Look at they say that they're in favor of the cops and then they vote against the cops, right? But instead, it's like if they ever do a criticism, it's couched in like flowers and rainbows and unicorns. Like, well, I mean, Mitch McConnell did do the vote the wrong way, but I mean, my God, honor, oh, respect, oh, the Republican leader. No, 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 he's a douche, okay? He's a hateful prick who's ruined this country. For saying that, everybody in Washington will think we're radicals. What percentage of the audience agrees with us? I'm not talking about just our audience, I'm talking about America. I would guess that around at least 70%, and that's what they're based on the polling. 70 to 80% of Americans agree with us. So are 80% of Americans radicals? No, you reporters and everyone in power inside Washington and New York, you're the radicals. That's exactly what McConnell and McCarthy should have gotten.